Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Pretty Poison, a South African simmer. So today is the first episode of the Alphabet Bold series. Now I've been seeing a lot of simmers on YouTube doing the Alphabet challenge and I always thought it is really, it looks like a fun challenge to do so I thought why not try it out. But instead of starting by A as I've seen most simmers do, I decided to try and be a bit different and start by Z. So that is what I'm doing over here. Now for the roof part of this build, I really struggled with the inside corners of the Z, but eventually I decided to not put a roof there and rather make it like a roof garden. So you will see I'm putting some bushes on like the roof part of the Z, but I think it's a nice workaround to combat the problem of getting a roof on it. So yeah, that is it. So this build ends up being a two bedroom, two bathroom build. So you got your main bedroom and then the second bedroom I made, it has like bunk beds. So it is for twin boy childs. So, or twin boys, whatever you want to call it, but they the child age. But I mean, if you want to, you can renovate it and make it whatever you want it to be. Generally, the bathrooms are exactly the same. So nothing too different there about the bathrooms. So you'll see I use black and white for this theme. But um, how did I get to that? So right, so when I think of the letter Z, the first thing that comes to mind is zebra. So zebras is black and white and therefore I decided let's make the build black and white. Now I didn't do like the whole stripe thing necessarily, but I think it turned out pretty great the black and white. So to be honest, the alphabet build challenge, I don't know what the official challenge is, um, but I'm just doing whatever. <laughs> So I'm just going to build structures that is the alphabet later and then make it a home. And I will be posting this build challenge videos every week Wednesday. So this is the first one Z and then next week we will move on to Y. So what I will do with the others or with all of them basically is I'm going to take the letter and whatever comes into my mind first with that letter is going to be the theme of the build. So... I mean, I already know why it's going to be yellow, because that's the only like a word I can think of with the letter Y when I think of Y. So yeah, for this build, I also try to make that there is a lot of natural light in the build. So you will see like by the entrance, the roof is a glass, so it brings in a lot of light. And then the windows are also these big open windows. Um, by open, I just mean it doesn't have railings in between and stuff. So that is what I went for. Then now we are doing the main bedroom. So I tried to do something a bit different by the bed with the cupboards. I tried to put the headboard, whatever you want to call it, frame of the bed in the cupboards to give it like the look that the cupboards is the headboard of this bed. But the cupboards in the middle by the bed is like flipped. So it's just like the wood part. So in this corner, I am adding some clutter. This is where they keep like their makeup and their tissues and the expensive watches and all that kind of stuff. Then we also have this little bench in the bedroom. I don't think the bench is functional for them to sit on, but I don't think that's a problem. It's just the bedroom. It's just for looks. But everything else is functional. The bed, you can use both sides. The mirror can be used to practice speech and whatever. So it's just a bench that your sim can't actually sit on. But I think it's because of the clutter I put on the side of the bench. So if you want to make it functional, you can just remove the glasses and the wallet. Now we head on to the boys' bedroom. So you usually like a lot of times I would make a girls' bedroom. So that's why I decided to make a boys' bedroom this time. So it is a bit more bluish, this bedroom. So we have the bunk beds, we have the blue curtains. I wanted to give them enough space to do or like focus on all their skills so I put a arts and craft table and also a science table and then we also give them a dresser although I think one dresser is a bit too little for two boys clothing and stuff but this is just some so one dresser is fine for them they will make it work and they also get a mirror that they can use that is functional and then I like using this pillow that's laying on the floor from the little camper skit. Like I always put it in a child's room. I just think it's really cute. And then a little extra shelf here in the corner where it can be like their body sprays and creams and stuff, I guess. 
So you will see the auto craft table I moved, I rotated it. But later on I do end up having to rotate it again because it was not functional. So you will see that in the house tour and the screenshots I did move it around. And then I add this cute little chair. I don't know if it's like a, a rabbit or what with like a sweetie picture on the chair. But I just thought it's really cute for the kids room. So now we move on to the kitchen. So in the kitchen I used the dark wood type of color dark brown so i think it came out pretty good i didn't want to just use black or white the whole time so that's why for the kitchen i use some brown tones so this kitchen has a kettle which you get in the four end pack and then it also has a microwave and then across the that area i added another little counter or two with a basin i usually when i do gameplay i always put a dishwasher but I notice when I'm making builds, then I'm always putting the basin because I don't actually play in my builds besides playtesting it. So <laughs> that's, that's actually, I don't know, like, why do I do that? But in any case, we are adding the clutter now. So just a bunch of cookie jars, mugs. We have a box of snacks. We have some paper towels and utensils by the stove. We have a jar of olives, some macaroni jars, and more utensils. We have the plates and those two little tubs with stuff in it. I don't know what it is. We add the bread on the microwave. As you guys, if you watched my previous builds, you guys would know I always do that. And then by the basin, we have some soap. You need soap to wash the dishes. We have the dish rack. And then we also put a bar in this build. Hang some towels from the spa day pack. And then the wooden chopping boards on the shelf. Now in this build only one counter is functional, the one that has nothing on it to the right of the stove. I have no idea why the one to the left of the stove wouldn't work because I feel like most of the counter space is available. But if, if you guys want more counter space just remove some of the clutter. And yeah and then the little dining room area is also in the kitchen. It's got a lot of seats, it has like I think six seats. So yeah, and then we have some laundry stuff as well. And then this rug from the foreign pack, the leaf rug. So now I'm just adding some curtains across the... I guess you could call it like the hallway, but it's also going to be like where the skills area is. In this corner of the house, we are making the living room. And then I'm also going to have like a second seating area where there is a fireplace. So it is kind of warm and cozy. That was the vibe I was going for over here. So in my personal opinion, the coffee tables we get is so big. Like, I don't like how big these coffee tables are. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> but I try to make use of it. I don't always use them. So I'm trying to incorporate them a bit more in my bowls. So this is all the clutter I decided I want to use here. So I moved the rug so I can see the grid because if the rug's there, you can't see the grid. So I just did that so it can help me place the clutter where I want it. Mm wherever the table's gonna be it just makes it easier and then i add some plants i love the blooming room kit plants it's so beautiful and then of course some art for the wall it can't just be blank like that so these couches i used are from the dream home decorator pack it's quite nice because you can basically build up your own couch to whatever size you want it to be and then i add this little bookshelf there is a functional book let's call it a book rack but it's like that books with the plants it actually does work it is functional and it's also like a great space saver so you don't have to have this like huge bookshelf rack in your house and then we add a fireplace i absolutely love this fireplace it is so beautiful especially in the black color and then yeah by the front door slash entrance whatever near the kitchen i put a computer now the way i place the desk using alt key it made that the desk was not functional so I just slightly moved the desk in the there I actually add a bookshelf mind you but in any case I I just slightly moved the computer desk so that it is functional it's not too much of a big change and then I add this parking area for the cars and then I create this border with these rocks but I'm just gonna skip it because it's a bit long which I think looks really beautiful I it's something I like doing but I don't do often because it takes forever to size down those rocks and place them individually. 
I don't know if there's a quicker way. I don't think so, but yeah. So now I'm just laying out where I want to put the garden by painting the terrain brown. That's just like my floor plan for the garden. And then this is like the walkway area. So I'm just filling out the brown terrain paint with some bushes and shrubs and maybe a tree or two, you know. And then some lavender by the cars in front. I think it's so beautiful, these lavender plants. I think it's lavender plants. I don't know, but that's what I'm calling it. But in any case, they're so beautiful. And then I end up making like a barbecue area in this part of the build. But there is only one entrance in and out the build. So they kind of have to walk all the way around the build. I thought about putting a back entrance, but then I went against it. I decided not to. So yeah, by the entrance, I did extend the garden a little bit. Just to fill up the space so that it is not so open. And then I decided to also add some more borders to this to the garden or kind of more like the walkway but yeah now i'm just finishing up the build with some lights next up is the house tour and the screenshots so i hope you guys like this build please let me know down below in the comments give this video a like and subscribe to my channel don't forget to do so as most of my viewers are actually not subscribed so yeah guys don't forget to subscribe as well and this build is available on my gallery it has been play tested and is functional and yeah, that is about it, guys. I hope you have a lovely day further. Poison out.